Yeah, I think uh, he said it exactly how it is, right? We're playing against host nation, the favorites, but that just gives us a little bit more motivation to take down the host in their country, right? Uh, we'll be going into that game, obviously, knowing we're the underdogs, but we're going to feed off that. And uh, I think it would be a fantastic story, not only to qualify for Olympus, but to take down the host. So that's what we'll be looking to do. It's already started just in case. Um, yeah, the we have an amazing opportunity in front of us, right? Um, being able to qualify for the Olympics is something, like I said, um, I don't think I've ever dreamed about it because my initial dream, and I think any footballer's dream, would, to, would be to qualify for the World Cup and play in the World Cup. But an athlete's dream is the Olympics. That is the highest competition possible and the most prestigious tournament for them. And I think just the fact that we're 90 minutes away from it, um, regardless of the team that we're, we're facing, it's just one game, 90 minutes. And I have a feeling that if we put everything out there, we leave it all out. Um, guys are playing for each other, working together. We have a, we have a chance to, to make history and, and make the country proud. So that's what we'll be doing uh, tomorrow. Thanks, Richard. And good morning, James. It's I actually wanted to get that previous question in. So I'll ask if you could just maybe take it a step further. When you think about being an Olympian, just to just to be able to have that forever associated with your name and your team. Um, do you let yourself think about what that experience might be like? And, and do you look back on some of the incredible achievements that the women's side has made? And, and just if you could speak a little bit further on what being an Olympian would mean to you and your teammates. Yeah, I think, um, you know, we have a staff member here who has been a part of the Olympics, a coach Andrew Oliveri, who actually won bronze with the, the woman back in London. Uh, he's, he's, you know, sharing his experiences, um, what he went through, what the team went through to get to that stage. And it's just something that to me would be life-changing. And I think it would be life-changing for the, for the team as well. Right. Uh, like I said before, we we've been given a, a, a tremendous opportunity to, to make history, to do something that hasn't been done in a very long time. And there's no greater sense of motivation. I feel like for, for myself personally and for the team. And I think we're, we're up for the challenge and we're ready to, to, to take that step onto the field on Sunday and, and try and qualify for the Olympics.